Okay. I wish Rivka was here for this one because I feel like she'd have some good input. But um, yeah. in South Carolina, after losing a graduation prayer fight, South Carolina District owes atheist group uh, over $400,000. Um, wow. The American Humanist Association won a suit against a South Carolina school district, which included pr Christian prayers at their graduation ceremonies. A U.S. district judge gave the school district nine specific gave the school district nine specific rules to follow, and they seemed unable or unwilling to follow them. Now they have to pay a total of uh, four hundred fifty six thousand. A hundred dollars. Um, so this happened in the Greenville County School District, which is a public school district. And this um, battle in court began six years ago when administrators at um, Mountain View Elementary School in the city of Taylor's held a graduation ceremony for fifth graders. And it happened inside of a church. Hmm. Um, and the graduation programming, when you got the brochure, um, included two separate prayers on the agenda. Um, so uh, the money that the school district has to pay is for attorney's fees for right. the American Humanist Association. And they gave them a lot of different rules about um, – in the process of, of this court battle to try to, you know, appease things, not have to go to settlement, all that stuff. And they were basically outlining all the ways in which administrators are not allowed to encourage this type of behavior. Right. But they were, the school district's argument was, oh, well, you're infringing on students' free speech. Hmm. But it was clear that they were encouraging students to use their free speech in that way right you can't do that you can't the school can't get involved like if if the students want to do anything on their own nobody can stop them but if the school gets involved and tells them you know then you're mixing education with religion i mean why would you why would they even start uh, like a lawsuit like this do, like don't they have law experts at their side that that will tell them that this is a losing battle um, so I can't remember, this was a, a kind of a complicated case, so I'm not going to pretend to be an expert. Um, but they were asked to change their behavior, address it beforehand. There was a series of appeals, all sorts of stuff where they were like, please stop doing this. Like, just please stop doing this. And it was clear that the school district just wasn't going to stop doing this. Um... Maybe they don't care if they're going to lose these battles because for them, it's not about winning. Like, it's not just about winning the legal battle. It's about showing to their, uh, you know, for, you know, people that might vote for them. I mean, this is, where is this? This is South Car Carolina, right? So this is, I'm assuming, very religious state, right? Mm -hmm. um, and even if you lose, at least you took a stand. Like, a lot of people may think, like, may, you know, the people who voted these people in office, um you know now might not vote for them because they just lost five you know around half a million dollars in taxpayer money but i don't i don't know if that's actually true maybe the fact maybe they don't care about the money as much as they care about taking a stand against these atheists and they just have pre like even if they lose they see them as heroes who who stood for jesus or something like that i don't know what do you think um the thing that I think was the most egregious um, part of this case was that they actually held the ceremony inside of a place of worship as a public school district. Um, and when there's tons of other venues that are available and it was in a, um, man, what was the motto of this place? Okay, I can't I find it. By the way, before um, you can before you continue, Jared in the live Facebook live chat is saying, Armin, my crazy uncle tried bashing me for donating to Atheist Republic and tried telling me you're a terrorist. I told him to read your book and to piss off. Oh, okay. Tell uh, him sorry. that we're coming for your children. Yes, we're coming for you. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if people know what you're referring to, but yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I, I, I had to read that. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Okay. Um, one of the rules that I thought was interesting, there was nine of them, but number seven was um, students who wish to include prayer in their speeches cannot ask the audience to participate in them, such as standing or bowing their heads. And if there is a prayer in the student speeches, the school officials cannot join. And um, they, they can't have um, any euphemisms for this type of speech as in inspirational readings. Um, and if there is a prayer that is included, there needs to be an explicit statement that it does not represent the administration. Right. Shapam, did you want to add anything to this before we go to the next stage? Not really much, uh, just right. that, I mean, uh, no, I, the AHA, the position AHA had, uh, they, they just wanted like, uh, if, student, if the students wanted to say something religious in their speeches, they were allowed and yeah, like uh, basically the same thing. So, this is very simple. We've gone over this so many times. Like p nobody is stopping, nobody is, oh, like it's free speech, free speech. Nobody is stopping anybody from doing prayers or practicing their religion. It, it, you, but you cannot get the school to ask all the students to do something. That's, you, you know, it's, that's not against anyone's free speech. It would be against your free speech if you pray and you get punished for it. It's like, you could do whatever you want. Go pray, go pray as much, go pray until you die. I don't care. You know, nobody's good. Nobody's stopping you. Like, how is this so complicated for people? Like, how is it like this is so straightforward? The thing is, the thing is, when when the school saw they're losing the, uh, the like battle and everything, they said, "Oh, we have uh, had the same uh, views ever since the beginning. We have always said that students should be allowed to give religious speeches if they want to. We won't be pushing them." And when they lost it, they just said, "We always had the same views. There was no reason for all this legal battle." Uh, because they lost it. Right. Okay, let's go to the next news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 